Hey, this is Bruce, and thank you for watching my video. I always appreciate when you plus one like, share my videos. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. It means a whole heck of a lot. Hopefully, this year we're going to see major revisions to both Thunderbolt and USB. We're hoping later this year. It could be first part of next year. We just aren't really sure. Let's look at where we're at now with and compare that with what the future promises. Right now in the world of Apple, pretty much any new Mac you buy is going to come with the Thunderbolt port, which is essentially uh, works with the mini display port. It's the connector. And it's very, very fast, up to 20 gigabits per second data transfer rate on it, uh, which works out to be somewhere around about 2.5 gigabytes per second of data. And it works with the PCIe uh, bus is how it really works. And what you see people predominantly using Thunderbolt for is going to be things such as RAID, uh, external RAID storage, video capture, etc. And that's kind of where it's at right now. The thing about Thunderbolt devices is they're much more expensive generally than a USB equipped device, so external drive, etc. But then again, the speed that you get, there are certain uh, solutions that Thunderbolt will solve that currently. USB 3 or USB 3.0 is just not up to task for. However, let's now take a look at where we're at with USB. USB 3.0 supports up to 5 gigabits per second data transfer, which works out to about 640 megabytes per second of data. I've never been able to hit that. Have you? If anybody has, please let me know. But uh, I know because I've done video capture and I can saturate the bus pretty easy and not hit near that type of data chance for any rate. We basically have mini USB, that's things for like your phone, your tablets and all that. We have your full size USB 3.0, which is backwards compatible with uh, USB 2, etc. That's where we're at and uh, you know it's pretty good because almost all your peripherals are just fine. Your printers, your you know, your game controllers, your mice, your keyboards, webcams, etc. are working just fine with the USB 3. A lot of them work just great, or really were designed to work with USB 2.0. That's where we're at today, but we want to take advantage of increased capabilities because we are demanding a lot out of USB. So let's take a look at what the future now holds for Thunderbolt 3.0. Well, the first thing is it's going to work with PCIe 3.0. This is going to give us a lot more bandwidth uh, for transferring data. As a matter of fact, it will support up to 40 gigabits per second. That's 5 gigabytes of data per second. You'll be able to drive up to two 4K display 60 hertz refresh rate uh, because this will support HDMI 2.0, deliver up to 100 watts of power, and uh, it will have a new connector. Now, we'll be backwards compatible, apparently, with some type of adapter. So this is going to be Thunderbolt 3.0. Uh, as I understand, it'll still be copper, although you can get optical, but you lose the power. You've got to do separate DC, I think, when you go the optical route with it. But that does allow for much longer runs on uh, Thunderbolt. The big news, really, in my opinion, is going to be the release of USB 3.1. And the first thing is a new connector, USB hyphen C 3.1 connector. So this is this is connector is going to be smaller than your current full size USB and you're going to be able to insert it either direction. It's just going to plug in. It doesn't matter how you put it in. And it's going to be one universal cable, one universal port. They'll use the same port in your tablet, your phone, your laptop, your PC, doesn't matter the one cable. And that's it. And I think that's really cool. It's going to double the speed from 5 gigabits to 10 gigabits. It puts it roughly at a max transfer rate of about one and a quarter gigabytes per second. Again, I doubt if anybody will see really those kind of speeds. That's still really, really, really impressive. Uh, it's also going to offer scalable charging uh, on it. So uh, being able, that means you'll be able to charge your devices a lot faster than the current USB uh, ports do. So I think that's really cool. Here's the, the bottom line for, for me on this. A USB 3.1 
is going to have a much larger audience than Thunderbolt. It, it just will. The USB is ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Most people own USB devices. It just has a much generally broader audience than Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt will remain niche, in my opinion, very much just like uh, Firewire. Remember Firewire 400, Firewire 800? I actually have a uh, 1394 card, which is which Apple called Firewire for the PC. I've never used. Uh, it just never really caught on. And as long as Thunderbolt remains in that real pricey area, uh, I think USB 3.1 is going to be really good enough for a lot of people, including people using uh, external storage, you know, external SSD storage or RAID systems, and also capturing high-definition video. So at the end of the day, USB 3.1 is going to be the ultimate winner. Thunderbolt will remain niche, and I just don't see it ever really saturating the market or taking it off in a big, big way. Not the discount that it certainly has its uses and it certainly has its purposes in life. But I think for most people, USB 3.1 is going to be an excellent thing to have. And also, uh, they're going to make the ports upgradable. And the software, when they do upgrade it from whatever the next thing from 3 to 3.1, 3.2, whatever that upgrade, will still work with that USB 3.0 software stack. So everything will should continue to work. They're really working on USB for upgradability and future proofing. And I think that's also huge. USB is definitely the clear winner between these two differing standards. Even though one may be technically a much, much faster way of doing things, the other one is, or USB is much more practical. So this is just my opinion, and uh, it's clear to me that USB 3.1 will be the winner for just about everybody out there as a way to connect your external devices to your PC, your charge up your tablet, connect your phone, etc. I'm Bruce Naylor. Take care. Bye-bye.